Okay, we are here uh, in the uh, BGSU uh, golf facility with uh, sophomore Wes Gates, and uh, we're going to be talking for a few minutes just about uh, the fall schedule in general and uh, what's coming up for BGSU golf as uh, the golf team has completed its fall schedule. Uh, Wes, uh, first of all, um, I want to congratulate you on your uh, or career best score. Um, at the most recent tournament you guys played, the EPSU Intercollegiate. Um, what do you think uh, contributed uh, to your low score there at that tournament? Well, uh, we, uh, as a team, we played real well at the tournament, obviously. We set, um, I think, just about every school record in that tournament. So the conditions were really good. The course was very nice. And uh, it definitely helps play a little better when your teammates are putting up really low scores around you. It motivates you to play a little better. So that was definitely a big, uh, a big help for me to, to shoot a good score in the final round. Uh, what did I know? You, I mean, you mentioned it was a nice course. I mean, is it a course similar to ones that uh, you've played on before, or were the conditions a little bit different than you've experienced in the past? Um, it, believe it or not, it was actually a lot like our home course, Stone Ridge. Um, it was very wide open. There were not too many trees. There weren't too many very difficult holes. So, really, every hole was a birdie hole, and uh, it's just a matter of staying patient and letting the birdies come to you instead of trying to force them. Now, uh, with the season being over with, you've got about five months or so uh, to get ready for the spring season. What do you plan on doing, both individually and with the team, uh, to get ready for the spring schedule? Well, personally, I'm going to take a little time off. We, uh, we've, been, we've had a very busy fall. We played, we played six tournaments in seven weeks, so we didn't have much downtime. And I'm going to take a little time off, try to recover a little bit, focus on school, get caught back up. And then in about a month, individually, I'll start coming in here and uh, spending some time here practicing, getting a little, a little sharp. And then I believe in January, right when we come back from winter break, we resume team practice. So okay. catching up with us in a hurry. All right, now I'm going to put you on the spot here. Um, I'm not looking for a specific prediction, but... If you got, if you and the team had to play the MAC championships uh, tomorrow, how do you think uh, the team would fare? You know, personally, I think we do very well. Um, the thing about the our conference is that there are a lot of great teams, so it's really hard to uh, to say we're better than some teams because in some tournaments we'll beat them, in other tournaments we'll lose to them. So it's really just a matter of who plays the best at the MAC championship. And I certainly think we're capable of possibly winning. Kent State's a very good team, but if not, definitely a top three finish. All right. Well, thank you uh, very much, Wes. Uh, congratulations on the fall season, and uh, good luck in the future. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.